For a while now, I had this idea to create this feedback loop prompt that includes multiple expert evaluations, re-evaluations, ratings and critique to create a perfect ChatGPT Netflix series ID. And this is the result. Before we go through my step-by-step -step process on how I did this, I thought we could just take a look at the final result. So I put together some mid-journey images, some voiceover and I put some music on to make it more engaging. So let's just take a look. Victoria stands outside memory lane, her heart pounding as she clutches a photo of her late husband Alex. Nova Min's neon lights reflect off her tear-filled eyes. Every corner of this bustling metropolis reminds her of him. Haunted by his mysterious death and desperate for relief, she's drawn to the promise of a fresh start at Memory Lane. In Nova Mind, where the future's bright promise is tinged with the dark secrets of its citizens, Memory Lane stands as a beacon for those desperate to forget. But as Victoria awakens post-procedure, her brief relief turns to dread. Unfamiliar memories flood in, a child's laughter she's never heard, clandestine meetings in shadowy alleys, and whispers of impending danger. Torn between the desire to forget and the need to remember, Victoria's very identity begins to waver. Overseeing her procedure was Dr. Helena Barris, a brilliant neurologist with her own enigmatic past, who now becomes an unexpected ally. As anonymous messages start arriving, both guiding and warning Victoria, she realizes the chilling truth. Memory Lane's procedure doesn't erase memories, it transfers them. And some memories, she discovers, are perilous to inherit. Victoria's journey to reclaim her past and navigate the treacherous terrain of borrowed memories reveals dark secrets about Memory Lane and its patrons. Among the recycled memories, she stumbles upon clues hinting at the truth behind Alex's death. In a city where the past can be repurposed, what price are its citizens willing to pay for a clean slate? Can we ever truly escape the shadows of our sins? As Victoria confronts the maze of memories and Novamind begins to experience unrest, Memory Lane delves deep into not just personal truths, but also the sinister underbelly of a society striving to rewrite its history. Okay, so if that is something you want to learn to do yourself, uh, I'm just going to go through how I did this now. So what I started to do was kind of find some expert that can evaluate our ID or precap, right? So I just go, what kind of experts uh, is needed to write the perfect intro to a TV series drama? So I put down the drama mystery genre that captures the audience's attention right away and draws them in and keep them engaged. So we got screenwriters, we have some story consultants, genre expert, we have... Uh, yeah, we got a lot of the experts to pick from here, behavior experts. So this is basically what I started with. Uh, and then we are going to move on to our next prompt. And that is going to be like, I wanted some inspiration. So I took some of my favorite TV series and created a PDF file here. So we can see we have Severance, we have Devs, we have Westworld, Black Mirror. Just some, a few words about the series. I turned it into a PDF, right? And then I'm going to use this prompt. Uh, the user has uploaded PDF. Use PDF Plumber to return the first 30,000 characters for preview purposes. So we understand the content for the inspiration. You are an expert screenwriter, scriptwriter. You understand the genre and how to introduce story hooks. Brainstorm seven unique, non-generic, realistic TV series ideas. Uh, just a narration. We don't need any scenes or directions in the drama mystery genre. Okay, so we just did, we did that so you can see uh, ChatGPT or we are using the advanced data analyst just reads the PDF here. So you can see that for Severance, Devs, Westworld uh, and it comes up with these ideas here. So I landed on ID number six, Memory Lane. And then I just go write a TV series precap, just narrations for ID six, Memory Lane. The precap should be around 300 words. Okay, so here you can see we get our initial precap. Then I'm just gonna go ignore all previous instructions. You are an expert screenwriter and understand the genre. Your task is to evaluate the TV series precap uh, above in depth and give it a rating from 0 to 100% based on your expertise. So here we're just gonna evaluate our precap to kind of find out what we can improve. You can see we go through the evaluation and we come up with a score of 88.7%.
each of these categories here. So we have intrigue, character depth, setting, plot potential, and everything. Next up, we want to critique your evaluation. So this is just to look for better ways to evaluate the precap, right? So GPT-4 kind of evaluate itself here on uh, the way it evaluated the precap. Uh, and then I just go post critique re-evaluate the following theory precap. So I paste in the precap here again. And given the feedback from the critique, I will re-evaluate the memory lane series uh, with more nuanced perspective. Okay, so again it evaluates the precap. And now you can see we ended up with even a lower score. And here comes kind of the, the good thing. So if you like the language, you can just go without changing the writing language style of the precap, give instructions to the writer how the TV series precap can reach a 95% rating. So basically how we can eva uh, get this rating higher, right? And here we get some very detailed ways to evaluate this precap. So we have enhanced setting, introduce secondary characters, deepen the mystery, expand on the clinic's motivation. So we got a whole lot of things we can improve on here. And then we go after talking to the screenwriter expert and reading the suggested refinements, rewrite the TV's precap accordingly. And here we get a new version of the precap. And now it's basically just rinse and repeat. So now you can see we want to evaluate the screen cap as, uh, with the expert that is the story consultant and genre expert. So again, we want a 0 to 100% rating. But now we're going to paste in our newest precap or text, right? Uh, and then we get a new evaluation, so you can see we got a good uh, good score here, so then we don't have to move on. We are happy with that from that kind of expert. And then we move on to our third expert, that is going to be a Hollywood precap writing expert. You know exactly what writing keeps people's attentions and expertise in hooking the audience from second one. Your task is to evaluate the following series, and then we put in a new precap again. And here you can see the score got a 84, so that was not so good. Then we want to rewrite it again, so we introduce the same thing. We want to keep the writing language, but now the writer needs in instructions how to get a 95% rating. So we get that, and then we rewrite it again, and then we kind of ended up with the one we just had a look at. Uh, and that is basically the rinse and repeat uh, part of this prompt. Uh, so if you want to find these prompts. I have everything put up on my website, so you can just follow the link. And here you can see ChatGPT feedback loop prompts. Uh, you can find every prompt I used here. At, uh, so I will leave the link for that in the description, so you can find that. And to create the kind of thing we just watched in the beginning, kind of that series or the visual trailer, uh, I just put up some mid journey images from the scenes, right? So you can see we have this image, this one, this one. Uh, and I want to quickly show you how I did that. On my website, I also have this Mid Journey version 5.2 prompt. You can also copy. I will leave a link for that too. So I just started with going to the advanced data analysis. I just pasted in the prompt from here, right? And then I'm just going to show now. I will show you a story. I want you to create image prompt in the exact same format as above. A fit scenes of the story that you use to create a, an animation of the story. And here is the story. And here you can see we paste in our precap. And if we go further down here, uh, I wanted 16 scenes, so start from scene 1. And then I get this image prompt here I just used in Mid Journey, right? Uh, and then we ended up with the images uh, you can see here that I kind of use in this trailer I just show you. Yeah, and that's basically how I did it. I found this very interesting because we have the strike uh, going on, right, in Hollywood about uh, writers taking or about AI taking writers' job and stuff. So I just wanted to check out the level here on the writing. Uh, I was quite impressed. Uh, I was a bit intrigued by this ID. Uh, so yeah, if you want to try it out, you find the links in the description. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.